Future Forward Footsteps. 千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. It's a Chinese proverb that is quite fitting for the thousand miles I surely traveled in the past three years. I am Gloria Ng. I started chanting and practicing Nichiren Daishonin's Buddhism with the SGI in San Francisco in February 2005. Next month, I begin my 17th year of practice. I would like to dedicate my experience to my dad. May he rest in peace. His tenacity and refugee status earned him sponsorship to the U.S. If not for him, I would never have encountered this Buddhism in rural China, much less be born. Hardships come and go, and Buddhism helps me face these challenges and change what some may call trash into treasure. In 2018, I was experiencing hardship. My house entered pre foreclosure. I was amidst a career change while exiting a toxic home situation with three kids in tow. Closing all my accounts, such as CD, retirement, savings, embarking upon a paid three month part time internship, having occasional remote data entry gigs, and receiving general assistance funds for food and unemployment, and receiving in kind or personal donations, among other cost cutting measures, such as food bank, allowed me to bring my loan out of default. No matter how bleak the future looked, The doubts, anger, sadness, despair, non stop busyness. With daily chanting and recitation of the Lotus Sutra, I felt hope increase bit by bit, day by day, like a flower bud breaks into bloom, millimeter by millimeter. Every waking moment, I was looking forward, looking ahead, anticipating how things would be better a year from that day. Every single day. Three pieces of encouragement buoyed me through this years long experience. Daisaku Ikeda, a founding president of our organization, whom I call Sensei, says No matter what our personal circumstances may be, if we ourselves become a source of light, then there will be no darkness in the world. I certainly wanted to stay optimistic while taking concrete actions towards change. Kaneko Ikeda, his wife, in a message to us in 2019, wrote Let us help those who have suffered the most enjoy the greatest happiness. Those words spoke to me. I constantly assured myself that suffering will pass. The greatest happiness awaits. The S in SGI stands for Soka, or value creation, our innate ability to turn lemons into lemonade, change poison into medicine, transform suffering into happiness. Mrs. Ikeda reminds me I can change suffering into Soka. This leads me to a critical piece of guidance from Nichiren Daishonin. The founder of our Buddhist practice. In a gosho about Buddhist offerings, he wrote that when we put faith in the Lotus Sutra, not only do we attain Buddhahood, but our father and mother and all the fathers and mothers of the preceding seven generations and the seven generations that follow, indeed, of countless lifetimes before and after, are able to become Buddhas. So, no matter how much financial, mental, emotional, exhaustive suffering I had at the time, I knew each cause I made in faith, practice, and study would lead me closer to happiness, not only for myself, but for everyone in my lineage, past, present, and future. Faith is to have hope for the future, even when there is no apparent evidence in reality to support, confirm, or prove to sustain that hope. Practice is to chant and take action for the happiness of ourselves and others. Study is to read and take to heart Buddhist principles and literature. With determination, I made sure to chant so I could keep my life condition high enough to face the day and take appropriate action. Attend every SGI meeting permitted by my schedule and obligations, and seek encouragement from seniors in faith. No matter the situation with my money and credit, I kept track of every income and expense so I could afford to stay current with SGI publications to get that regular dose of study and still be in the black. In gratitude and appreciation to the SGI for helping me break through past obstacles, I also kept budgeting for monthly and yearly financial contributions, even if the amount seemed meager. By spring of 2019, the worst was behind me. I got off general assistance funds, had a teaching assistant position in the desired field, had occasional freelance work in the field, and had regular data entry work I could do remotely. My income had been so low just months before that I qualified for funds that finally came through for lead paint repair, healthy homes improvement, 
and an electric vehicle grant that allowed me to finally afford transportation for me and the kids so that we would not have to bike everywhere, even in the rain. By the end of 2019, my teaching assistant position led to a part-time 10-month staff position that covered my health insurance. I had a few freelance projects of increasing difficulty that corresponded with increasing pay and a hefty data entry project. All this laid the groundwork for 2020. Even before shelter in place in March of 2020, due to immune compromised persons in the classroom, my work went virtual and wrapped up in November with an invitation to become salaried through February 2021. When SGI had a campaign to begin or increase our monthly sustaining contributions, I challenged myself to increase even by $1. So when my remote data entry work, although sparse throughout 2020, surfaced again in December, I noticed the synchronicity and the timing of the onboarding paperwork that turned my contract position into a part-time position effective this month. Just this week, I also received notice that my salaried position originally ending next month was going to become indefinite. I met with HR and signed the paperwork on Wednesday. After the new year, I sat down to evaluate my finances. I am still in the black. If anything, I have added another shade of black. I find that I can finally afford to pick up where I left off when I first moved into this house. For example, when a friend needed a new home for their toddler chick, I was able to bring it home on the first day of Kwanzaa and have the leisure time to read up on raising backyard chickens. When getting supplies to feed and house the chick from an urban farm store, I could also afford a starter population of earthworms. For a worm bin, my kids helped drill the holes for on New Year's Eve. When inspecting and reflecting upon one of the trees I planted with one of my kids' placentas, I realized it needed to have another tree of its kind in order to bear fruit, so a neighbor helped graft a few scions onto the tree. When looking into energy savings, I got my first smart plug that automatically turns a high-energy appliance on and off on a daily basis, and I'm already seeing the savings. My previous income qualifying grant for an electric vehicle also made me eligible for a charging station to be installed in my home sometime this year. In other words, I have work that fulfills SGI founding president Sunasabaro Makaguchi's theory of value creation, that of beauty, which is a career I love, Good, which is work that contributes to society, and gain, which provides some measure of financial security. I can now afford the luxury to grow as a person, grow in planetary stewardship, and grow in lifelong learning, which I find the most rewarding of all. I can confidently say that my Buddhist practice helped me get to this place of happiness and abundant hope for our collective future. To quote second SGI founding president Jose Toda, Too big is just about the right size for young people's dreams. In essence, what Ikeda Sensei says is true. A great human revolution in just a single individual will help achieve a change in the destiny of a nation and all humankind. That change starts in our own home, in our own figurative or literal backyard, in our own neighborhood. It only takes that first step, then another, and another. Thank you.